Hey folks, welcome back to the Good Life Outdoors. If you've been following some of my recent videos, you know that I've been building up my 2018 Ford F-150. Now one of the latest modifications I've done to that is add this set of Ford Raptor wheels and tires. Now these tires are much larger than stock, and I had to add a leveling kit to the front, a two and a half inch leveling kit. I'll link to that video up above. I've enjoyed this nice level stance. However, I just bought a new boat and I've been towing that around town and realizing there's quite a bit of squat when I had the boat hooked up. So I wanted to alleviate that by adding some lift blocks to the rear. And so today I'm gonna to show you how I added those blocks. It's a really easy process, so stick around and I'll show you how it's done. I'll start with a baseline measurement from the ground to the center of the fender lip. Each one is measuring just under 41 inches. That's a good thing to start with. You'll want to work on a nice clean level surface. In my case, I just backed into my garage. The lift block kit comes with new three inch lift blocks, new U-bolts and the nuts and washers to put this all together. Now I ordered the three inch kit because the four wheel drive F-150 already has an inch and a half block that I will be replacing. So I'll get a total of an inch and a half total lift over stock. Now, if you have a two wheel drive, it doesn't come with that spacer. So this will go full three inches over stock. Your tools are pretty simple. 13 16 wrench and sockets to get the old bolts off, seven eighths to put the new ones on. A torque wrench and a breaker bar especially will be very helpful here. You're also going to need a heavy duty floor jack and jack stands. To begin the process, make sure your front tires are safely chocked and secured and then start by lifting the rear of the truck by the differential. Now you're going to be lifting the truck as high as your jack stands will safely rest on the rear frame because you're going to be relying on the drop of the axle later on to be able to take out the lift blocks and install the new ones. You may have to reposition your jack stands a few times just to make sure you're in the most secure place on the frame for doing this work. Once you have the truck resting securely on the jack stands, go ahead and lower the axle back down just a little bit and start by removing the stock nuts from the U-bolts. When you remove the bottom plate, make sure you lay it down facing the same direction it came off. That way you put it back on facing that same direction. Also make note, of where it sat on the axle so you put it back in the same place. In my case, it made these nice little marks so I know exactly where it went. So I was troubleshooting and wasn't able to record the next step. Basically, I had to remove the rear tire to allow the rear axle to drop and allow me enough space between the axle and the spring to remove the old lift lock and install the new one. This may be different in your case, it's just what I had to do. And here's the stock lift block removed from the truck. As you can see, it's about half the size of the new one. And this new one should give me about an inch and a half of lift. I've got the rear axle lowered down and held in place by the floor jack. I'm ready to install the three inch lift block. Now you'll see that these blocks have a slight taper to them. So you'll want to put the shorter end towards the front of the truck. Once you have the pins of the lift blocks set in the corresponding holes on the axle, you'll want to slowly start lifting the rear axle with the floor jack and make sure that the pins on the springs go into the holes on the lift blocks. Make sure that this happens and make sure everything's nice and straight and aligned when you're doing this. Once you have the lift block in place, you'll want to go ahead and put the U-bolts on and tighten everything up. Now in this case, I do have a lot of overage on these U-bolts. So I'm gonna to want to cut those off because this is going to limit some of my ground clearance on the truck. So once I kind of get this slightly tightened, I'm gonna make a measurement and make a consistent cut across each one of these U-bolts, cut off some of this extra length. Once I've made my measurements, I can take the U-bolts over to my workshop so I can stick them in my vise and hold them steady while I cut off the extra length. I determined each one of these could use to lose two inches and still have plenty of threads left without impeding my ground clearance. 
you'll notice that I'm leaving the nuts on the U-bolts while I'm making these cuts. And this is by design. As you make these cuts, you'll see a lot of little burrs and imperfections from the cuts. And you'll want to have the nuts ready to back out over these so that in the future you can reinstall the nuts. Now I'm going to take the extra step to take the U-bolt over to my bench sander and round over the edges of these cuts just so it's a lot easier to put the nuts on after the fact. I added some thread locker to the threads, reinstalled the U-bolts, and that's one side complete. Now we'll get started on the other side. I'll show you a time lapse of the full process so you get a good idea of what's involved. And there it is, all complete. You can see the truck now has a slight bit more rake than it did before, a little bit closer to what it was from the factory, but now the entire truck's lifted just a little bit more. I ended up making the measurements, and as you can see, I got closer to two inches of lift here in the back. Now, I'm not complaining about this. Uh, it was supposed to be an inch and a half, two inches just fine, and I think it's going to do very well for my needs. take a look at this. With the boat hooked up, that rear squat is virtually eliminated, which means this will be safer to drive around, much more level, and I won't be blinding people when I'm driving at night with those headlights pointed slightly up. And that's the install for the rear lift blocks on my 2018 F-150. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you following along. Y'all get out there and live the good life. Thanks a lot.